Hey, Hank, where are you? Hello? I'm right here. You can stop yelling. All right, what's the problem? That stray cat eat your plants again? No, some robot sounding guy called asking for us by code name. He said Tony Stark was reassembling the full Avengers team and he wants us back. Tony Stark? It's like hearing a ghost name. Are you sure this robot or whatever said his name? I'm sure, Hank. It almost sounds like you don't want me to be sure. Weren't you and Tony really close? Whoa, no, no. Tony and I were never close. We just worked on a few things together, that's all. Well, what are you going to do? Judging from what this Jarvis guy was saying, something serious is brewing up. Maybe the Avengers do need us back. Please, you don't really believe that, do you? They did just fine in New York against Loki. Why would they invite us back now? Does it matter? This could be our chance to set things right with the group. Things could be different this time. Tony doesn't work well with others. He's arrogant and selfish. That will never change. Come on, Janet. It's probably just Iron Man playing his tricks again. Just let it go. Well, I believe it. And I'm going with or without you. Unlike you, I actually miss the Avengers. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Janet. Janet, come back here. So, tell me more about Ultron. I want to know exactly what we're up against. You did create him after all. Well, I didn't create him. I just planned the process of creating him. It's not the same thing. Right, right. This Hank Pym guy created him, right? Who is he anyways? Well, you probably know him as Ant-Man or Giant-Man. He's a scientist, brilliant, but not as brilliant as me. He was actually one of the original Avengers. Original Avengers? Wait, I thought it was only you guys here. I don't think I remember reading about any old Avengers in the S.H.I.E.L.D. databases. Well, that's because it was a failure. I doubt S.H.I.E.L.D. wants anyone remembering that horrible team. Hank was working with me on a lot of projects actually back in the day. He couldn't handle my leadership, so he left. He also took his wife with him. Oh, now I remember. There was a lot of controversy and rumors back then. I had no idea it had anything to do with the Avengers team, though. So, he went off and finished Ultron, huh? Guess so. Ultron was supposed to be a peacekeeping entity worldwide. We were never able to figure out the artificial intelligence program. Hello, stranger. I didn't know the Mighty Avengers left their front door unlocked. Well, well, well. If it isn't the marvelous Mosquito herself, where's Bug Boy? Hank is at home. He didn't think your message was true. He figures you're just being a trickster, like always. Well, if I wanted to trick you, I'd at least let you know beforehand, and then I'd do it. So what scared you enough to want to call Hank and I? Last I checked, we weren't really the best of teammates. Oh, you know, usual stuff. Your husband went and built an Avenger-killing robot. Nothing out of the ordinary, if you think about it. He did what now? Hank would never do something like that. Besides, if he did, I would have found out about it. Well, he did. Check out this footage. Ultron is a project Hank and I abandoned years ago, and here he is attacking in broad daylight. I, I don't believe it. Hank would never do that. How can you be so sure it was him? I guess I can't, but until I know it wasn't him, I can't be sure. Besides, he's the only one who knew about Ultron besides Banner and I. Well, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this and figure out the truth. She'll be back. Don't worry about her. Oh, I almost forgot. I am building up an Avengers team. You know, just beefing it up a bit in case we need extra muscle. I need all of you watching to go down in the comments right now. I mean it, go right now. Like, don't look. Like, just look at your keyboard and go type right now. Let me know what superhero you want to see join the Avengers team, and maybe we'll make it happen. Everything is going according to plan. Soon we shall see our victory. You will have your revenge, and I will have my new body. Good. I expect there will be no delays or complications, Smith. You better not fail me. How dare you! You should be thanking me, Doom. Were it not for me, you would have no progress. Please, my dear Red Skull. As far as the world is concerned, you're still in an iceberg in Germany. Don't waste your energy on petty arguments. The cheese is right under your nose. The Avengers will soon be ours. Just don't forget our agreement. It would be a shame to lose such a mighty arsenal as I have given you. The Red Hulk is but one of the many great weapons Hydra can offer you. Yes, you remind me of it every day. Leave now, I have a country to run. Red Skull is beginning to lash out. We must devise a plan B. 
Schmidt will not be an issue. He is a mere pawn in our little game. You must watch yourself. I? It is I who must watch himself. You risk revealing our plan every time you argue with the Skull. Even more reason to eliminate him. He'll be the cause of any failure, not me. We both know Red Skull plays an important role in our rise to power. He's a pawn, but a crucial pawn. Now go be a leader for the people of Latveria. Taskmaster, grade C supervillain, or just villain, really. He shouldn't be a problem. Even though you have no crime fighting experience, just smash! Or you can do that. Hulk's methods are barbaric, but I can't lie, they are very effective. This man's anger is greater than any others in existence. It's quite impressive. Yeah, I'm just glad I'm not on the receiving end. I haven't had to bust out the Hulkbuster armor in quite a while. Hulkbuster? Yeah, it's a special suit that lets me tango with the Hulk. Pretty fun. You mean battle each other? Is this not a team? Yeah, but you know, the Hulk has anger problems. Besides, it was basically tradition back in the day to fight at least one other Avenger. Such odd rituals. Talk about odd behavior. You don't even notice when a guy's right underneath you. Ant-Man? In the flesh. But I'm not Hank. The name's Scott Lang. I'm the new Ant-Man. Sorry, pal. Never heard of you. Hank said he still does not want to come back to the Avengers. But he asked me to try out. Whatever that means. He wants you guys to give me a shot at being an Avenger. Alright, well, let's see what you got then, Ant-Man. Go take out Taskmaster for us. Huh. Easy. Watch this. Who invited the bug? Hank Pym, there's a lot you need to catch up on, pal. But that can wait until you're Bruce Banner again. Hmm. Alright, Taskmaster is down. That was easier than I expected. Does that mean I'm an Avenger now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there. I decide if you're an Avenger or not. Alright then. How exactly are you planning to decide if I'm Avenger material? I thought that was the test, and you wanted to see how well I do in combat. Well, that was just part of the test, but being an Avenger is pretty serious. We don't just let anybody in just right away. Well, what do you need me to do? Well, I have to test you in a bunch of different ways. It gets real complicated. There's not much time to explain. Eh, let's just get back to the Avengers Tower and talk about it there. Are we not going to battle more criminals? Well, they're not all out committing crimes at the same time, we have to find them first. But, you can spar with the Hulk here a little. I believe that would suffice if you believe it to be good training. What? Sparring with the Hulk? That's just about the best training there is. That is, if you can land a hit on him. Alright, come on, let's head home. Alright, we are here. This is our new Avengers Tower. But don't get too used to it, we don't know if you're going to be a permanent member of the team yet. Hulk. Would you like to spa? Perhaps in the training room? Fantastic. Alright, I'm ready for whatever test you're gonna throw at me. Let's do this. I never knew there would be entrance exams to get into the Avengers. See, I knew you'd be back. I told Falcon. Now he owes me five bucks. Not that I need it. Anyways, there's no entrance exams. I just need to be sure Skate here is the type of hero we're looking for. Uh, I think you mean Scott. You know, Hank wants to give Scott a chance, and I do too, Tony. He's one of the best heroes we've met in a long time. You know how Hank is, it takes a lot to convince him. Well, it doesn't take a genius to know when someone can fight well, and you know, is good or bad. But if you want me to give him a chance, then I will. Great. Finally part of the Avengers. That only took longer than expected. Well, you're more like a temporary member, or at least until we know you work well with everyone else. Don't you worry about that. It'll be as if the original Ant-Man never left. Hank taught Scott pretty well. Of course, except the ego. By the way, did Hank ever say why he doesn't want to come back to the Avengers? Oh, I don't know. Something about Tony Stark doesn't work well with others? Well, I can't really say he's wrong, though I'd like to think others just don't work well with me. But, you know, you can see it whichever way you want. Sir, I apologize, but it seems there's another issue in the city. What is it now, Jarvis? It seems to be the Red Skull, sir. Red Skull, are you sure? You mean to tell me that we weren't just imagining things when we saw him disappear with the Red Hulk? It seems to be real, sir. He's back. I have no idea why or how, but I shall begin researching. Alright Jarvis, send the coordinates to my suit, we'll take care of it. 
Hey, Ant-Man, looks like you're gonna have a test after all. Wait, who's Red Skull? Oh, no one really, just one of the most dangerous villains known to mankind. I thought he disappeared in the Arctic or something. So does the rest of the world. It really doesn't matter. We need to go find him. Let's go. Shouldn't we have more people for something like this? Nah, we can handle it just the three of us. Trust me. Red Skull must be close to 100 years old by now. Come on. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, I think we might just find an old man. You know, a red skull with a white beard would look pretty funny. You never could focus on a mission, could you, Tony? Of course I can. Look, I already found him. He's right over there, right in the middle of the street. How can you guys miss that? Let me at him. I got this. I can take him down without a problem. Whoa, 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 slow down. Trust me, you don't want to get into a hand-to-hand -hand combat situation with the red skull. He'll turn you into dust. Oh, he can't be that powerful, can he? You'd be surprised. You know what? Let me handle this. I think we could just talk it out. Hey, Red Skull! Welcome back from the ice. You know, we would have a welcome back party for you. Um, don't you guys think that's a good idea? Silence, Tin Man. This isn't one of your games of chess you can easily win. I am the Red Skull, and I am stronger than ever. Yeah, 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 evil supervillain speech, threaten the Avengers a little bit, and then we take you down. That's how it goes, right? You fool. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. This marks the beginning of the end for the Avengers. Alright, I think you've just about talked enough. Hey, we are having a civil conversation here. You can't just interrupt like that. I thought you said this is one of the most dangerous villains known to mankind. How can you just stand there and talk to him? Well, he is dangerous, but we're the Avengers. Come on. Anyways, you're right. It's time to end it. Red Skull, I don't know why you're here or what you want, but just surrender and let us take you to prison, okay? <laughs> you're not as much of a genius as you thought you were. You should think I'm going to take me to prison so easily. This isn't over. I won't waste my energy on just three of the Avengers. You'll need to bring all of them and fight me at once if you want even a sliver of hope of defeating me. Don't be so sure about that. Heroes have gotten a lot stronger than you can imagine. I mean, you were stuck in the snow for decades. I just came to bring you a message, Stark. Tell the other Avengers, the end is near for the hero's cause. Doctor Doom and the Red Skull will soon take over the world. Uh, did he just say Doctor Doom? I thought he didn't work with anyone. You know, since he's an evil dictator and all? Uh, I guess it's more serious than we thought. Alright, we're gonna head back home and talk to the Avengers. Ant-Man, looks like we're gonna really need your help after all. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. We're gonna have to add some people to the Avengers to have enough power to beat these guys. Who knows who Red Skull's working with. Anyways, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. Of course, make sure to subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one. Iron Man out.